Monday. Hello. Why do I feel like it's been forever? Hello, everybody. Please say hello when you jump on. Hey, Deb, how are you? How was your weekend? I hope you're doing well. I think I sent something out to you. Deb, you're like on, like, you should be on speed dial, some, some kind of fast track or something, because I'm always shipping something to you. How are you? Hello, Susan. I ship something to you too. It's funny, I don't, Remember, ah, oh, thank you. I don't remember everybody I ship to, but there's certain people I remember. Busy. My, so, we had, hi Gwen, we had an unexpected guest. My, I had my sister's dog. My sister came down with COVID for the first time and she is really sick, y'all. Like, really sick. Right, Deb? <laughs> um, so I've got, I just got rid of her dog. I was watching her dog because she was, um, she went to visit her daughter in New Mexico. Um, and so she came home, picked up her dog and then got sick. So I've got her dog again. Hi Courtney, welcome. So I was, I was actually pretty busy. We, all my kids, except for Megan, except for my daughter-in-law, all my kids were here yesterday, which was awesome. Um, but it's been so hot. Ah, thanks, Deb. Um, it was, I, and I love the heat, and it was actually hot for me. I had to stay in. So, hi, Carolyn, welcome. Come on in, everybody. I'm actually really excited about today's project. We're gonna have a little bit of fun. But it's Monday, so of course that means housekeeping, so let's get all that all over with, okay? So first, if you're watching for the first time, I'm Patty and I'm an independent designer with Chocoteur and you know I love what I do. Um, let's go over some Monday housekeeping, okay? Um, which isn't much now that I think about it. So, um, cleaning up this weekend, I wanted to let you know that this kit, the blocks, completely sold out and I knew they would sell out. I think there was 32 sets of the three blocks and they completely sold out. Um, sorry. Um, so that's that. This little guy, there's two left of this kit, if anybody is interested. Just put the number four in the comments and I can get you the link for that. Um, and I think that's it for kits. I knew, I, I knew there wasn't gonna be, I knew we were gonna sell out with those blocks. I knew it. I knew as soon as it all came together, they were gonna sell out. So, um, what's going on? What's up coming? Pillar Stand Club, all the embellishments have been sent. We, I'll see you on the 21st if you're joining, okay? Um, the July, no, yes, the July Craft Along, I'm always a month ahead. The July Craft Along um, is still open if anybody may be interested in that. You have until June 15th to purchase your products, okay? And for the first time on our craft along, we're going to be inking a pillow. This is the pillow that we're going to ink, okay? So Chocoture, we sell these covers. I have included a few links for the inserts if anybody is interested. Um, a lot of people use stuffing. I don't like to use stuffing. I really like, I prefer pillow inserts. So I have all the links if you're going to be joining us. But, of course, I send you the embellishments for free, and I have been working on them, y'all. You know me and my ribbon. 
Um, I found some really pretty ribbon. I've given you some sneak peeks over in the VIP lounge. Um, but we are going to embellish. Uh, we're going to put some cushions on the pillow. Like we're going to really bring it out. So, and we're using bugs. So, um, the cart link that I came up with for the July craft along, you will be getting at least one of the transfers free. Um, and I think if you spent 13 more dollars, you would get both transfers free, which is the June special with Chalk Couture. When you spend $65, you will get the Explore Dream Discover transfer free. And if you spend $80 or more, you get that transfer and the Etched Bugs transfer for free. Bugs, you say? Yes. Hi, Sheila. Welcome. Hi, Susie. Um, so, you had to get two. You did. I know you did. That's the one I just put in the mail. Um, okay, etched bugs. Let's just talk about these bugs, okay? It is a really cute transfer. I told you this last week. Bugs are really on trend. I have some mercury glass over there that we're going to be doing some um, uh, crafting on with the bugs. This pillow, the 6x18 box frame, um, some watercolor in. I have a lot of ideas, so we're going to get doing that when. Hi, Mary, when you guys. I'm waiting on you all to get your transfers so we can do it together. But the. Um, bye, Deb, thank you. I know you will. Um, but, um, as far as the July craft along, we are going to be inking a pillow. So many of you have wanted to try ink. Um, so I thought this is a great way to do it. Our pillow covers are awesome. I am keeping it the natural color, but, um, you can dye these. You have seen all the colors I have come up with dyeing these pillow covers. So, um, if you want some information, Claudia, how are you? If you want some information on the July craft along, just go ahead and put craft along in the comments and I will get back to you. Okay. There's a link and I'll just go ahead and send you the link. So let me tell you a little bit about today's project. Um, we, oh, actually, let me just tell you one more thing. Um, everyone who purchased the, oh, spilling, the, um, ribbon, everybody who purchased this little kit of ribbon last week for our club members, um, if you purchase the ribbon, all of that has been sent out too. I did get an order this morning, so that will probably go out tomorrow. But if you purchased all the ribbon, um, if you saw the project that we did last week, it was pretty cute. It's already been sold, so I can't show it to you. But um, if you purchased the ribbon, everything has been shipped out. I still have kits available for the ribbon. Again, hop on over to the VIP page. You can purchase the ribbon if you are one of my club members or one of my team designers. You are more than welcome to pick up some ribbon, okay? So hop on over to the VIP page or our club page and you will um, get more information on that. Okay. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Jan. Welcome. All right, guys. So let's talk a little bit about today's project. So as you notice, this year I kind of went more vintagey with my patriotic decor. Uh, Memorial Day, I really hit the red, whites, and blues, your traditional colors, but for uh, this 4th of July, I went a little more vintagey. So that's what we're going to finish up with one of these projects today. Okay. Um, in the comments, the key word today is distressed. It's up there somewhere. You can see it. Distressed. If you put that in the comments, you'll get an automatic link of the chocolate products that I'm using today. Non-designers, you don't need to hit the keyword because you would get them 40% off in your own shop, but um, distressed and you'll get an automated message. Of course, any other project uh, products that I'm using will be over in the VIP lounge when I'm done. Okay. I did pin the link to the VIP page if you're not in it. 
Hop on over, okay? Hi, Sue Bradshaw, how are you? All right, guys, um, let me hide myself. All right, so let's continue on with the little distressed look, okay? And this is going to be uh, a lot of moving pieces. So the first thing I wanted to let you know is I'm using the nine by nine box frame, which is really popular, okay? So this is a two-sided surface. You can use both sides. Okay, we do a lot of uh, torch burning on this side, which is what I like to do with the back side. Um, hi, Ellie. Um, but I went outside and I kind of distressed the edges a little bit more. So I just took my sander and I just kind of scraped all the around the edges and I came out with a more of a distressed look. Okay. And that's kind of like the theme that we're going for. But one of the things I wanted to let you know, and it's in the carts link, this transfer is no longer available. It came, it went so fast, y'all. Uh, we knew that was going to happen. And because of all the shipping issues, Chocotra wasn't able to place another order to get them in time for the 4th of July. So in my previous projects, if you don't have this transfer, I showed you other ones that you could use. Um, this project that I'm doing today, you can definitely use the, and I put it in the cart link. Now remember, that's all it is. It's a cart link. You can add to it or delete from it, make it your own, okay? But I did put the farmhouse tile pattern in because so many of you have wanted that, you can definitely do this project using that transfer. Or if you purchased the um, bandana transfer, you can do that uh, with that. You can do this project with that one as well. And we can tweak some of the things that I'm using um, using those transfers. Okay, so there's, if there's a will, there's a way. And you don't have to use the colors that I'm using today. I'm using Dune, Black, and Bach. You don't have to use these colors. You can do them the traditional red, white, and blue, okay? Your project, do it your way. And if you have any questions or need to make some variations and not quite sure how to do it, just message me and, I, and I'll help you, okay? It is easy. If there's a will, there's a way, I promise you. All right, okay. Show me some hearts if you want to get started. And we are going to get started by um, painting this um, star because we're going to make it look very uh, tinny and vintagey, okay? All right, guys. So we're going to be paste painting today. Um, so we're going to be doing that, putting some aside, and coming back, okay? And I took out my pumpkin spice. Again, I have more of this than cinnamon, so I choose to use this. You can use your cinnamon. It's just, I keep telling them, I don't even remember what it was I was baking, but I had an excess of that, so that's why I have really been using more of that than cinnamon. A lot more. All right, let's go ahead, and I'm, I will have the link to this as well in the VIP lounge. If you guys like these stars, you can buy star, you can get wooden stars at Dollar Tree, Hobby Lot, I mean, there's so many places that you can get them, but if you like this farmhouse look star, um, the link will be available later on, okay? All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and paste paint this with our black velvet, okay? And I'm just gonna put a base coat on it. And I am not going to try and be perfect with this because remember, the messier the better when you're doing anything vintage. So let's go ahead and get the back done. I am going to do the front and the back. The reason why I'm doing the back of this is because it's going to be laying on that box frame 
And depending on where it sits, where it will be displayed, there's a good chance that the back will be seen a little bit. So I just want the back to make sure it looks like the front. All right, let's try it. So it's a really simple coat and just using our black velvet paste, okay? Just go ahead and add that paste to the front. Do you all like the look of these stars better? I did buy some, I had gotten some stars at Hobby Lobby, the, the woodpile stars, and they're more cartoony looking to me. I didn't care for them um, for this project. I mean, they're fine for other pro projects, but not for this project. But you can really find stars anywhere. <laughs> All right. Super easy. That's going to be the front. So let's go ahead and dry this. Okay, so let's dirty this up a little bit now. I like these are my favorite stars too. They really are. Okay, so now that's going to be the front. You can't see with those gloves on. Okay, so now let's kind of stop getting it more of that vintage look. So I'm going to use our bark paste and I am going to throw just a little bit of dune in there to give it just like a little bit of highlight tinges. Nothing major. Because remember, we're going to be throwing some pumpkin spice on there. All right? All right, so if you like this type of a star better, let me see the hearts if you guys prefer this kind of a star better. And then let's, let's use some bark. I'm not going to use that. Thanks, Stacy. How are you? I didn't see you jump on. Why pumpkin spice? Only because I have so much of it and not as much cinnamon. <laughs> when I was baking at um, Christmas time, so for those of you that don't know, we are building a new home. We sold our house and we're in a rental. So I don't have things where I normally put them, including my pantry. My pantry was really huge, a big walk-in pantry, and now I'm, I've am i got this really not deep at all pantry, shelves, so I have to use some of the cabinets. Um, so I kind of like loose stuff, and it's easier for me just to buy more than dig through it. So I have an abundance of pumpkin spice, but when you're trying to venture something, um, you know, a lot of times I do use cinnamon, um, but it's the same texture and the same feel and the same look. Kind of smells better. Um, so it doesn't really matter which one you use, but that's the reason why I'm using this pumpkin spice. Me too, Claudia, me too. All right. So let's go ahead and 
go ahead and get some brown on here now. But if you have cinnamon in your cabinets, use the cinnamon. <laughs> So you will see by where I put the dune how it's just going to highlight a little bit. And remember the messier the better. I'll bring this closer too so you can see it. All right, so this is still wet, but let me see if you, I can show it to you. Let me bring it up there because I think you can see it better. So just being really messy, I don't know, can you see it? I know that light is tough, y'all. But can you see like the movement in it? It does have that bronze look. All right, so now let's just throw some pumpkin spice on there. And then this just gives it that rusty tin look, okay? It can be heavier on the corners. And not a lot's going to stick. Remember, I didn't use a lot of paint, so it's not going to, it's not deep enough to like grab a lot of it, but it's going to be plenty, okay? So it's almost like using glitter, but it smells better. All right, we're just going to put that aside. I think we're still going to use all three of these colors. All right, any questions? Yep, that's the reason why. <laughs> I always use cinnamon, always, always, until I had the abundance of pumpkin spice. All right, guys, let's work on our box frame. So again, this is just on nine by nine. I already roughed up the edges a little bit, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm going to, you could do this project on any side, either side, okay? What I'm, and I put a placement tape down because I didn't want it to get the inside edges. So I'm gonna use the brown or the bock, it's actually called bock. I'm gonna use the bock again, okay? But I'm really gonna water it down this time around. And again, when you are paste painting, I always spritz the, you probably saw me spritz that style. I like to spritz the surface that I'm using um, because then it just goes on a lot easier. And again, I don't want this to be too thick it's almost like a, a staining effect that I want, and I could have definitely used stain, but I decided to use this instead, okay? So, we're gonna go ahead and spritz this just a little bit. And what that does is it really lets you use that brush in a quicker movement, and um, it doesn't go on as thick, okay? Hi, Deb. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. All right, any questions? And 
we're going to um, use a wet wipe in a little bit too. Make sure you get all those edges. And again, you can be sloppy with this. Whenever you're doing anything vintagey, don't look for perfection. I don't. But that's the reason why I went ahead and used off placement tape. Um, because then I can like whack the sides and it won't matter. All right, so see how easy it's gliding because I added that water to the surface. Now again, I wanted a super thin look, okay? I'm not painting so much as um, staining. And I'm just gonna take a wet wipe. is going to be very, very muted, okay? So. Okay? Ah, did you see us use the pumpkin spice, Jeff? Alright, so it's going to be very muted because I'm actually going to put the transfer down using Dune Paste. So, definitely muted. Now, if you want to transform this into those traditional red, white, and blues, you can do this so many different ways. You can, um, first of all, you wouldn't even have to stain it. You could just use the white background. You could paste paint this in the red, the candy apple red. You can use the cadet blue or the colonial blue. Alright, we're going to let this dry just a little bit more. able to get the Stars and Stripes transfer and I'm so glad that you did but I know there are some folks that weren't able to get it so definitely look at that the um, farmhouse tile look at your bandana and just like think about it think about or any other pattern that you may already have um, you might have a 4th of July transfer from last year or you could use the welcome tile like there's so many other patterns that you could use okay all right, for this one, I'm gonna do it a little bit different. I am going to I'm gonna paint this the dune color. So this is one of our tag minis and I did go ahead and I put that um, in the cart link as well. Now, you only need one. It does come in a six pack, but I promise you, you will use these for so many things. Once you have them, you're like, how did I never use these before? They're really cute to put on gifts and you've seen how many times I use them. I put them in a lot of the kits too that we use. All right, so let's go ahead and dry this. So 
this too, I'm going to do front and back, okay? Hi, Carol. All right, so if you are staying with me, show me the hearts, okay? It's pretty easy so far. The whole project's really easy. It really is. So that's how it comes, and that's the dune that we just added. But I'm going to go ahead and do the other side too, okay? And again, that's the beauty of our pace. If you don't have the right paint color that you're looking for, or just don't want to go out and buy any paint, Use our paste. Okay, let's try this side. I can smell that pumpkin spice. <laughs> so it's funny. If you ever are going to, and I haven't been in the, these kind of stores in a long time, but um, who is it like Big Lots or what are the stores that sell like spices? Oh, Costco. But I don't know if you want to spend that much money. But if you ever find them big and bulky, you can craft with them, which is pretty funny. All right. So we have this on both sides now. I'm going to rough it up just a little bit. And I'm probably going to add some ink to it. And that's the other beauty working with our paste when you're painting it dries super fast times using our transfers um, so long as you wash them and wash them just with water if you're good to them they will be good to you all right so my favorite wax you all know what it is and if not I'll it'll be over on the VIP lounge too all right so this I'm just gonna do a little further down, not so much in the center because we're going to put a little bit of ribbon 
So the hole is right there. I think that's good. Okay. All right, and this I'm gonna do in the black. Yeah, I actually keep all that um, cinnamon or whatever oopsie I might have, the pumpkin spice. I keep that in with my crafting supplies. I also use, and you all know this, I use a lot of Epsom salts um, if I'm trying to go for a thicker look. Um, instead of using glitter, I might use Epsom salt. Um, I use that to fill bowls with, so there's always something funny in my crafting closet. All right, so we're just going to use black. This definitely, this transfer already has a vintage look to it. So if anything, I might just put a little bit of ink on the edges, but we'll see, okay? little tag would be super cute if you bring in like any kind of hostess gift like these tags guys you can use these tags for anything all right let's go ahead and quickly wash this hello sherry how are you your weekend. All right, and this is just water. You don't want to use anything but water. And then I usually just grab a wet wipe. Any kind of wipe will work. You just don't want to use a baby wipe because baby wipes do have oil in them, okay? And it's super sticky again. We're gonna put it right back on the backer and it is good to use for the next time we need it. Our darker color paste and inks, they will stain the transfer. That does not hurt the transfer at all. Okay, so long as you get that paste out of the open mesh area, you're good. All right, so we have our tag. We have our pumpkin spice star. You can actually take that off. Now, you know how when we use glitter, we really, you know, whack it so it all comes off? This I kind of like to keep on a little bit more. And it does smell good, guys. So see? So now it looks like, can you all see it? I know it's so hard with the lights, but now it, it looks so much more vintagey. Let me bring it closer. Okay. Do you like it? Patty, everything will be posted in the VIP lounge. All right. All right. Now, you can keep that if you want and put it back, but I don't. 
All right, so that's one. We have the tag. Let's go ahead and work on our board now. This definitely is dry. Yeah, we just need the do. Okay, so let's put this away. Uh, thanks, Carolyn. Uh, we don't need that one. Okay. Now, just like before, I'm going to go. Well, actually, let's go ahead and take this tape off. And then, because again, because I put, you know, paste down, I do want to go ahead and put just a little bit of wax. And for a couple of reasons. One, I don't want to pull this paste up. And two, I don't want to distort the transfer. Now, if you were just working with your chalkboard surface um, and didn't have an, a coat of paste down, you wouldn't need to use the wax, okay? you would just go ahead and paste. But whenever you're layering or um, your transfer might be super sticky on a surface, you wanna go ahead and use wax, okay? Hi, Cheryl. All right, now we are gonna use this part of the transfer. And again, Obviously it's big, so it's not gonna fit. So I'm just gonna place this to get the word, not even the words that I want, but just enough covering, okay? Freedom ring, so I definitely want that. And this is giving me. Can I get all of the four thin? Probably right there. So that's why, if you use like the farmhouse tile or the bandana, you're going to get a lot of movement in your design using those transfers as well. And again, I'm mute this is technically going to be muted on here so unless you really know their word this is still crooked that happened unless you really know their words you may not even see the words come up there's no air bubbles and you're just going to take a squeegee thanks dad so you're just going to go ahead and take a squeegee and get all those air bubbles out okay So this 
is what it looks like right now. Okay? And again, really muted. So, if you didn't want this vintage look, you could do um, just red on, because remember, this box comes with that white background, so you could just do the red on it, you could do the blue on it, right? You could do black too if you want it to show a little bit better. You could do black. We're just going to go ahead and squeeze that all the way through. You want a really good coat. Honestly, if you don't get the corners, don't worry about it. You can have so many oopsies when you're doing this kind of a technique and nobody would ever know. And I do know I have a lot of customers who do like using the hot mess technique. You could do that too. We have a really good covering. Ah, storm paste is a really pretty color too. And storm would look really pretty doing this kind of a technique too. All right, let's just pull it off. Another reason why I use the wax, it just makes it that much easier getting this up. it up there closer for you too. I don't want that to fall. So again, this is just going kind of going with the same theme that I've been doing for the 4th of July, but you can so use your own colors. Aw, oh, thanks guys. Thank you. I want to go bake a cake or something now. <laughs> that's got to be pumpkin -y. or pumpkin spice latte. I know that's like sinful to even say that, right? All right, so we are just washing this with water, y'all. Make sure you get all that paste out. Again, if you have a sink really close, it's so much easier just to throw this in the sink and do it.
and even our light colors stain. So they will always be staining on your transfers, but it does not hurt the transfer at all, okay? Just make sure all that paste or ink, depending on your project, just make sure that it's all picked up. That's it. Let's go ahead and dry it. Hi, Cheryl, how are you? Good. How was your weekend? Ooh, I'm just going to put this right back on the backer. is good to go for the next time you need it. Okay? All right, let's put it all together. That's a good thing when your weekend's busy, isn't it? Okay, let's put all this together. to distress this just a little bit, tone it down a little. easy enough. Then I know we're going to pop a hole in the star. So let's go ahead and do that. Where I want to do it. So probably right at the top. actually needs a real punch or a dough. Super dough. If not, we'll just drill it. I think it's gonna work. Ah! <laughs> ah. Where there's a will, there's a way. Okay. It's actually, I, I can tell it's dull. We need to fix that. All right, and actually it's pretty thick. So if you need the link for these, they do come in different widths too. Um, but if you ever find yourself where you can't use your crocodile or you know, chocature has one, just drill it. Just drill it, that's what you gotta do. All right, let's start with some jute.
Guys, I promise you I really do want to bake a cake now because that's all I can smell. Now, we're not going to get fancy with the ribbon. I just want to do something small. So let's go ahead and use a little bit more jute. Let me actually glue this down. Let's do this. I might glue it. I might not. You know, I'm definitely going to glue it. Let's put this down first. I think it's probably going to be glued there. But let's get this ready first. Let's do this one. to hang a little bit lower than I normally do. I'll go up here maybe. I'm going to actually just glue it. Yeah, I'm going to actually just glue that down. Let's put the ribbon on, on the star. And not bows, we're just going to kind of just pinch it, okay? And not a lot. black and off-white, really, that's what it is. Okay. And we might use some palms, too, but let's see what this all looks like first. All right, let's glue the star down. So I'm kind of going to keep the star straight, okay?
this jute hanging. I'm probably going to cut it a little, but I think I might I actually think I like it like that. Just like that. Right in the middle. Dab will do ya. Okay. I think that's it, guys. Do you want to see it? Who wants to see it? Show me the hearts. Let me know if you want to see it. It is, it is a crocodile. Yep. And you can get them anywhere. Joann's, um, Walmart, Hobby Lobby. You can get them anywhere. They have small ones. Chocature, there's some in my shop too. Um, but this one is extra. It's extra. So you can do a lot more with it. The bigger ones. So again, remember, I, I'm all vintage, right? All vintagey. Just don't know which. Is that the better look? Can you see it? Ah, thanks, sissy. I wish you could smell this. <laughs> I wish you could smell it. It's so funny. Ah, oh, thank you. You need it. You can make it too. All right. So remember, if you if you don't have the stars and stripes, then I apologize that there's just no way chocature. Um, it was, first of all, it wasn't even released when it was supposed to because it was stuck out on the water. And then when we finally got them, they knew, I mean, they had planned on ordering a second time. And then just because of all the delay, because you gotta remember how well in advance they do this. Um, so they just knew it wasn't gonna be back in time for the 4th of July. I have a funny feeling, and I don't know this for a fact, but I have a funny feeling it's going to go away, but it might come back next year is my take on it. But there'll be a new one next year, too. So, um, but guys, there's so many other ones. Remember, the cart link that I put together, okay, so it's going to have the box frame. It's going to have the tag. The tags do come in a pack of six. Um, Bach, Dune, and the Black Velvet. Again, you can, the Bach in the Dune. We don't have sample packs. I do have some here, but you, they're not on the website. Um, black Velvet, I did put a sample pack, but you can turn that into a jar if you wanted to. Um, and I put the farmhouse tile down in case you wanted to use the farmhouse tile as your background. 
Um, a lot of you have 4th of July transfers from last year. You can use the summer minis. There's a lot of different things you can do to get this look without actually having the transfer. And I can help you with that if you have any questions, okay? But in the comments, the keyword is distressed. So if you put distressed in the comments, you will see that cart link come up. Again, customers only, there's no need for um, designers because you would want to buy it from your own website to get the discount, right? Um, but it's just a link, it shows you the products that I use. All of the products I'll go ahead and post in the VIP lounge. Let me tell you, I did add Club Couture. Uh, a lot of people are still interested in Club Couture. So please add to or delete from that link to make it your own. I do have a lot of club members already, so obviously you don't need to do that. Um, but take a look at it. I already posted what July's transfer is. I'm sure most of you have seen it by now. It's another cute summary transfer. Um, there's probably a 0% chance I'm gonna use it the way it looks on the transfer. I'm definitely gonna do a different take on it. Um, but to get this month's transfer, which is, um, Sunshine, but I think it's like living in sunshine, but it's sunshine. Um, you have to purchase it in the month of June, okay? And remember, I still have the kit with all the ribbons that I used last week, and that's available to my club members and any of my designers on my team, okay? All right, guys, I will take pictures and post in a little bit. I gotta clean up. Um, if you have any questions, just please message me. And um, it was very beachy. And navy and white. Navy and white, like the whole, it really came together really well. All right, guys, message me if you need anything. All right, love to all. Have a great rest of your day. Bye, everybody. My God, I smell like pumpkin spice. Bye, everybody. <laughs>